Coming up with brilliant kitchen hacks is all about finding a better, more efficient way of doing something. And you can find some of my clever hacks at hsn.com. And here you are, Justin. I have to say, it's so exciting to have food and wine here. And uh, not only is it their one today special of the year, don't hang up, keep calling on it. In the kitchen, just like you said, you have to have right tools when it comes to cookware you got to have the right knives, right? Got to have the right knives. And you know, some would argue that your most useful knife, your most useful tool in the kitchen yeah. beside your hands is your knives. Right, makes sense. You know, you want knives to be outstanding. And one of the things that I've done over my eight years in the Food and Wine Test Kitchen is I've tested thousands of knives. And we've incorporated some of our favorite uh, you know, our favorite uh, idea, some of the favorite components of knives yeah. into our collection here, which is right. our, this awesome six piece set that it, we have. It is, let me just show you this real quickly. And hey, Allison, can I just show the quantity left real quickly? Because everything, it is the debut. So we have only 2,100. In fact, you know what, can I do this? Um, they're gonna be so mad at me. We got the little bow here, but uh, thank you, Justin. I want you to see something. So you get your chef's knife with these beautiful aerations so nothing sticks. You get your santuku, and then you get your peri knife. Now I want you to see this. This is, you guys use Japanese steel. And you know, the thing is, Justin, when you are in the kitchen, the test kitchens at Food and Wine, Tell us why we like Japanese steel. Well, so, you know, out of all the tests that we've done, Japanese steel, first of all, it's very forgiving, but it's, the best part about it is it's super, super hard. Yes. And it's gonna hold the best blade for the longest. Yes. Um, so what we've done is we've created this uh, knife that has the Japanese steel, it's V16, oh. and, uh, what it, and with a 17 inch blade. Right. And the 17 inch blade, what that's gonna do for you is it's gonna give you ultra sharp. Okay. You know, and in addition to that, the stainless blade is corrosive redis resistance, it's full tang, which nice. means it goes all the way through the handle. Uh, it's riveted, which we've incorporated the copper rivets because it's beautiful. It's yeah, optimum it's hardness, as I mentioned, because it's Japanese steel, which gives you better uh, edge retention and it's going to be more reliable. Right, everything. Which is all super important when you're using a knife. Um, I'd love to tell you Look about the first knife uh, in this perfect. collection Perfect. In fact, here. you know what, Justin, I'm just going to, uh, thank you so much for describing <laughs> those details. I just want everybody to see what you're talking about. There's that full tang and that fully forged, and there's that luscious copper uber, uber, uber sharp. I mean, if you want, you know, something that stays sharp longer and is sharp in the kitchen, you want this knife. All right, so you're gonna start with, of course, the beautiful chef's yes. knife, it looks like. And you know, I, I would love to point out, so we have this beautiful chef's knife, which is the workhorse. Yes, for sure. You know, it's the chopper. It has this beautiful, you know, kind of natural curve to it, which gives you that chopping motion that you're gonna use when you're chopping your parsley, or you know, you're chopping your dill, or whatever else, you mincing your shallots. Uh, but you know, we've incorporated some really fun features here. So first off, you see these little holes here? Yeah. These are, this is a perforated blade. Okay, why do so, I want that? So you want the perforated blade because it prevents sticking. Oh, So okay. you know, you can, be cook, you can be cutting something like a potato that's sure. really, really juicy. Yeah. And you, it's so frustrating when the potato slice oh, kind of sticks to the blade. Yes. But also you can cut soft cheeses with oh, it. Oh, sure. And they're not gonna Good stick. Good point. Yeah. And, you know, but one of the other things I really love about this knife and is that we have this uh, kind of, this ridge here. And that's a that ridge, what it does is it actually pushes the food off the blade. And I don't know if you could see this, but I'm cutting this salami and it's really hard. I mean, if you've ever cut uh, an entire salami yeah. like this, then you know how difficult it can be. For sure. You know, my mom always buys the pre-cut stuff and I always tell her, I'm like, mom, uh, they dust that pre-cut stuff in I all these know. chemicals just to prevent it from getting juicy and sticky. Yeah. And you know, I might just get her this knife and show her that she can cut it herself. And For I mean, sure. look how quickly I zoomed through that. That's gorgeous. No sticking. No. Transfer right to this beautiful board here. Yeah. Go into another one and you know, this one's even Boy, that firmer. that doesn't stick at all, does it? I mean, this is, I mean, it's crazy. I can't even explain oh, to you how nuts. fast this is. Yeah. And what's amazing is a lot of times, I'm gonna go a little slower because I want you to see this, but a lot of people, yeah. you know, they slice and then they push the food off yes, with their finger. Yeah, yeah, you no, know, let me right, show you right. again. Yeah. A lot of people do that. Yeah. But you know, that's exhausting. And then you get so much more <laughs> I'm worn tired. out just watching you. Yeah, <laughs> and instead we have that little ridge that pushes yeah. the food off. I mean, I don't know if we're timing this. Someone will tell me, but Beautiful. how long did it just take me to cut this whole 
salami. I mean, I look at that. And you didn't struggle. Nothing is sticking at all. It's it's just brilliant. And here's the other thing. This these like you said, these are the knives that we need in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. We need a chef's knife. You know, you need a santuco. You do herbs. You'll do you know garnish. You'll do everything with this. And then of course the paring knife is obviously an essential, especially in the holiday season. Mm -hmm. You know, whether you're peeling potatoes, you know, for <laughs> Thanksgiving or whatever it might be. So you get all of them. Remember, it's Japanese steel, so there's an elevated cachet that's associated with that, along with the name food and wine. And then, of course, 2000 or 2100 only, free shipping, $16.65 in your credit card. Now, cheese is, cheese is like a whole part of the food pyramid for me. I love cheese. But cheese, it looks like, because that's not like a little soft brie. It's a brie, and it's very soft. It's been sitting at room temperature yeah. for almost that's an hour. That's hard to cut, generally. I mean, Normally, look at I this. tear it to pieces with the knives that I have at home. I mean, it's so, look at it. It's just that's kind of gorgeous. like falling off. I mean, yeah. this, this cheese has been out in almost an hour. I mean, you could see how beautifully soft it is oh, and delicious. Yeah. I mean, you couldn't do that with a knife that what didn't have that perforated blade. Yeah, you couldn't. I mean, you really couldn't. Right. Uh, so just so you realize, it is the set. It is part of what Food & Wine brings to us today and today only. So that today's special that I know hundreds of you are still calling on. Ooh, what are you working on there? Is that a little jicama? This is a, hic a little jicama. Well, That's <laughs> a big, this is a big jicama. <laughs> you haven't seen how I eat, Justin. That's, yeah. <laughs> So this nice. is the Santoku, right? Right. Which I know you described, but you know I love it. And just just to reiterate this full tang here, so that's what we call it in the industry. It's kind of like a professional term. Um, it really just means that the blade goes all the way through the handle. Yeah. And what that gives you is incredible balance. Yeah. So oftentimes if you have a knife that, that doesn't have the full tang, the sure. front will go like this oh, you're right. as you're using it. It'll yeah. just kind of hit the board yeah. and then you have to lift it. So you're using that strength. You're using your wrist, of which can be uncomfortable. It, it really can't. Boy, and I bet in the food and wine test kitchens, to me, knives are a luxury that most people don't invest in because mm -hmm. isn't it true, like a really good quality knife, you're, you're generally looking at $100 and more, typically. You are. Mm -hmm. You're looking at $100 or more. I mean, this set is, for, for the, this yeah. is an insane value. I'm, yeah, I'm it, not kidding. You're getting all of the things that we love about knives. You're getting that full tang. You're getting that uh, Japanese steel. And you know, one of the things I don't think we touched on yet was the fact that we're incorporating both Japanese and German inspiration. Yeah. Because you know, what, one thing that's oh, so great about ones. German knives yeah. are the handle. Right. They're exactly. actually super comfortable. Whereas um, oftentimes with Japanese handles, they're not as comfortable. Yeah, And true. again, we get that Japanese steel. It's yep. ultra sharp. Um, it's chef inspired. We got the copper rivets on it, which, you know, adds amazing beauty. For sure. Uh, full tang, which I just mentioned, it's perfectly balanced. Um, I mean, it's just incredible. It really is. I mean, and that ultimate hardness, you're going to be able to cut things like this giant jicama that we just yeah, did. Yeah, they are hard to cut, trust they're me. They're super. You know, and I think at this time of year, too, you know, I, I, I love butternut squash. I mean, if you want to hollow out a pumpkin or an acorn squash. I mean, you need uh, you, you need great knives in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And normally, let's be fair, $49.95, you'd be like if you got one nice quality knife for that price. Okay, okay. Oh, they took my stock pot. <gasps> I don't blame them. I'm gonna That's going to be coming up. I'm like, it's my stock pot. Uh, so remember, the one-size-fits-all gift is here. That, of course, being the HSN gift card in denomination starting at $25. Okay. Over 300 of my stockpot already gone. I'm telling you, first and probably the